channel. Um, this morning we are doing a recipe. Um, this is, well, cloud pancakes as it's called, or apparently German pancakes, but we think it's basically Yorkshire puddings with more eggs, less flour, and I guess that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. You put some raw, it didn't, it doesn't actually have sugar in the recipe, but today we're going to put a little bit in because we made this yesterday and we made it with normal butter and that was a bit too salty and we left out the salt. So we thought that would equal out, but it didn't actually. We ended up needing no salted butter. And a so surprisingly, this is an American recipe and we still think we need sugar. That's, that's weird. Rude. So we saw this recipe. That sounds suspiciously like a baby in a tree. What you got? Did you get caught? Oh, thank you. She's rolled it to you. Roll it oh, back. thank you. Well, right, let's get on with this one. Alright. So, we saw this recipe on another vlog, which is called This Is How We Bingham. That you're a family of vloggers who vlog every day from Utah. And we thought oh my goodness that looks like yorkshire pudding and yorkshire pudding is like the best thing in the world except you can put sweet things on it so we thought we'll try this for breakfast and see how it goes so i'm gonna go for it let's start the recipe so the first thing you need is a tablespoon ish so we're halving the recipe you realize um, you've prepped all this stuff and haven't got a bowl or a whisk i'll get that in a second okay um a tablespoon ish of butter that's a very big tablespoon, darling. No, it's not. Um, then you put that in the oven and let it butter. melt. Put that into the oven, which has been preheated at around 180 degrees. Pan. Let that melt, but keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn. Then you get a bowl. So... The first thing we need, technically it says to put in the wet ingredients first, which is eggs and milk, but we did that yesterday and it went a bit lumpy, so I'm just going to spill some flour everywhere. The first thing we need is half a cup of plain flour. Uh, half a cup, right? Yep. Half a cup. And then we need half a cup of milk and three eggs. Which one is best to put them in? I'll crack the eggs, well it really make a difference. Crack the eggs in first, I'll do. I can't do the one-handed cracking thing because I can't. I can barely do the two-handed one. Yes. It is. You've not got much control over your limbs, have you? Shh. You just rinse my hands? I'm going to put a bit of sugar in now, darling, as well, don't forget. I Tasty. Oh my goodness. Half a cup of milk. Do you know what? It probably didn't make a difference now that I've just poured these in without like whisking it up a little bit. I probably could have just put the flour in. And then we're going to put in. A tablespoon? No, not even a tablespoon. Just because we haven't used salted butter this time, so just a. Uh, Teaspoon, I think just to good. convince it it's sweet, as Jeremy would say. Just, oh, just that much. And then a dash. A cap. A dash of Snilla vanilla extract. And give it a whisk. And whisk it up a little bit. Now, when we made this yesterday, we thought it looked a bit wet this batter but we decided to trust it and see what happened and it came out all right didn't it mm. it rose beautifully it's like we said it's just a bit like a more eggy yorkshire pudding uh-oh we're being attacked by rudy i thought it was wetter yesterday it does look like it was doesn't it maybe we did too much milk yesterday either way i think it'll all be fine Maybe we accidentally did a full cup of milk yesterday. I mean you. 
I mean you. This is why I'm not normally allowed to do my... Yeah, it looks thicker than it was yesterday, doesn't it? Mm. This is why I'm not usually allowed to do pancakes, so I get things wrong. And then we just let that rest while the butter heats up, put it in and... Right. Okay, go now. <laughs> <laughs> so the butter's melted for five minutes or so and it's getting a bit hissy sticky actually. Be careful, be careful! I think it's got a bit hot. Get on with it then, close the oven. Sorry, I got scared. So, we're just going to pour this in now. The whisk in the sink. Oh, you're dripping it all over the Why? floor because and worked you off. Oh. You'll have to clean this up. Nah. Whoa, hissy spit, hissy spit. Drip, 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 drip. Should have kept the whisk, shouldn't I? Now, very. Huh? Nothing, darling. Very carefully. Middle shell. Middle shell. Because it's going to rise. It's so poofy, it's got lots of butter on the top. <laughs> oh my goodness. Flat as a pancake now. Do some Emmy slices. Bit thinner. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, lovely. So that was our cloud pancakes recipe. Um, Emmy enjoyed them with us as well. So she just had like um, three or four, maybe four or five strips of it, um, along with a few raspberries for her. We had ours with golden syrup yesterday. We had raspberries as well, but there were only like four raspberries left. So Emmy got those. She gets priority apparently. Um, and she also had some nectarines. I had some nectarines, and she had a fromage fray too because. She apparently has to have like a 10 course breakfast, so that's what Emmy had. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've tried cloud pancakes before. We really like the idea that they can be done um, quickly, well not necessarily quickly, it takes about 25 minutes once you've done like the baking and the uh, mixing it all together and everything, but you don't have to stand over the oven like cooking like one and then flipping it over and then putting it onto a plate and in the oven then another and another and another so we think it would be really good for a big group of people so yes let me know if you tried pa cloud pancakes or if you're planning to try them and i will see you next time happy vlogmas bye